viewers can't get over how adorable the Heartstopper cast is as they return to make the show even more exciting in season two. However, a lot has happened since the show started, and you will find their relationship status surprising in these revealing updates. Elle, who Yasmin Finney portrays in Heartstopper 2, had a lovely relationship by getting to finally date her best friend, Tao, in the show. But the same can't be said of Yasmin, as the 19-year-old actress has been quite unlucky regarding relationships. Being in a romantic relationship has seemed impossible for Yasmin since she became a star through Heartstopper. One of the many challenges of Yasmin when it comes to dating is that she has no access to any of the popular dating apps. Although Yasmin loves going on dates and exploring these dating apps, she usually gets banned and accused of impersonating a celebrity even though she's the celebrity. Aside from having some pretty bad luck with dating apps, Yasmin also thinks men she tries going out with are often scared of her and her achievements. She said, the guys I go out with, dare I say it, they do get intimidated by me and I'm trying to date people my own age. Unlike Elle, who wants nothing more than to be with Tao, Yasmin isn't interested in the fact that she needs a man to feel loved. Yasmin mentioned that people who often rely on others for love and other things necessary for their existence will get frustrated. She also added that ladies should be their own sugar daddies rather than waiting for their boyfriends to come through for them. In a recent interview, Yasmin further explained why she's giving up on men saying, I don't think I'm ever going to fall in love. I'm too sure of myself to lessen myself for any other person that isn't with me. It's difficult. Men let me down all the time. Since Yasmin's experience with love has been awful, the actress isn't afraid to be by herself, and she has decided to be happily single and keep doing the things that matter to her the most. Relationship experience has been entirely different for 22-year-old Rhea Norwood, who portrays Imogen in the show. The actress recently revealed exciting details about her love life while speaking with Cosmopolitan. Rhea mentioned that she rates friendships more than romantic relationships. According to Rhea, she prefers the love shared among friends as she has experienced the best and most transformative love with her friends than in relationships. And the actress is proud to confirm that she's in love with her friends, but hasn't hinted at being in any romantic relationship. So Rhea is probably single and thrilled about it, especially since she has great friends surrounding her. Toby Donovan, who portrays Isaac, took fans on an insightful exploration of what it means to be an aromantic in Heartstopper 2, and many viewers found the representation outstanding. And Toby is so much like Isaac, as he's also very committed to making people learn more and understand the LGBT Q plus community, just like the other cast of Heartstopper had been doing. But then, fans have been wondering if Isaac's asexuality also reflects on Toby. And what we've learned is that Toby is just a proud member of the LGBTQ plus community who has kept his sexuality private. The 21-year-old actor once shared a post on Instagram regarding his role in Heartstopper and how he relates to it. The post reads, I feel so privileged to be telling Isaac's story in this show and to be representing my community on such a huge platform like Netflix. So so Toby doesn't just support the community as others do. He's a massive part of it and nothing makes him happier than seeing his community represented on a popular show like Heartstopper. However, Toby has never mentioned what alphabet he represents or if he's similar to Isaac and also he has never revealed himself to be in a relationship with anyone. The 19-year-old Kit Connor has become one of the most loved cast of Heartstopper. Surprisingly, even with the love Kit has experienced ever since becoming more popular, he's faced many speculations and rumors concerning his relationships and sexuality. Kit Connors' troubles started when Heartstopper was released, and fans on Twitter started speculating about his sexuality. Some even wondered if the relationship between Kit and his co-star Joe Locke extended beyond the screen. At the time, Kit was surprised at these reactions and how people were so desperate to know his sexuality and to find out whether he was in a relationship. Kit posted when the speculations were getting too much, saying, Twitter is so funny, man. Apparently, some people People on here know my sexuality better than I do. Later in an interview, Kit revealed that he didn't want to label himself or tell the world about his sexuality or relationship status. But these statements were soon forgotten when Kit was seen holding hands with Maya Rafiko, his co-star in A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. So some fans were disappointed to see him like that with a girl and started to accuse him of queer baiting and not being as authentic as the character he portrays in the show. Kit became so frustrated that he had to come out forcefully. He posted back Back for a minute, I'm bi. Congrats on forcing an 18 year old to out himself. I think some of you missed the point of the show. Bye. And in a recent interview, 
Kit failed to disclose if he's dating anyone. Uh, however, because he's been affected a lot by speculations and rumors, Kit revealed that he would be self-conscious when dating a girl and would be private about it if he got to that. Joe Locke didn't face as much trouble as Kit Connor when it came to fans speculating about his sexuality, but he also faced some pressure, especially about romantic relationships. And recently, the 19-year-old actor finally answered many fans' questions as he revealed his sexuality. Joe said, I have been openly gay since I was 12. People have assumed and written it, and I haven't ever corrected anyone because I haven't felt the need to, but I've never specifically stated my sexuality until now. Although Joe has now confirmed what everyone wants to know, he's yet to still talk about one crucial thing, his relationship. Since Joe started featuring as Charlie in Heartstopper, there have been speculations and even some unverified facts that point to Sebastian Croft, who plays Ben to be Joe's boyfriend in real life. Many people are convinced that Joe and Sebastian are dating because they have many cozy pictures and always seem to hang out together when the other Heartstopper cast aren't present. However, the shocking, unverified facts behind this relationship speculation are even more detailed and deeper than you can imagine as fans dug out other clues. Starting from some of the things that went down behind the scenes, fans have been able to make their own stories. While filming the kissing scenes between Charlie and Nick, Kit revealed that Joe always takes coffee before kissing on set. And Kit added that it's already become Joe's habit and everyone on set knew about Joe's famous coffee breath. With this knowledge of Joe loving coffee so much that his breath usually smells of it, fans dug out a video of Sebastian singing coffee lips. So people assumed Sebastian recorded the singing tape for Joe since it was believed that Joe's lips usually tasted coffee. Interestingly, this assumption was confirmed when Sebastian wished Joe a happy birthday in a post that says, Oh, you thought I'd forgotten? Happy birthday, coffee boy. Sebastian referring to Joe as a coffee boy after singing Coffee Lips music made this theory of their relationship fascinating, which many fans have believed, but Joe has never come out to confirm or deny these speculations for once, even though he's still very close to Sebastian. Pictures of Sebastian and Joe at the Soho House Festival in Gunnersbury Park sparked many reactions soon as they started circulating. The photo shows Joe and Sebastian unable to keep their hands off each other while in the company of friends. Mail Online described the pictures in a report. The couple put on an incredibly loved up display. They appeared to be completely smitten. It was heartwarming to see. Aside from these pictures, some fans are convinced that Joe and Sebastian have already met each other's families. And it's been reported that since Sebastian plays an evil character, Ben in the show, Joe's grandfather was said to have called Gabby Roslin's podcast to vouch for Sebastian, that he's a very good person and not in any way like Ben. And the fans think that Sebastian must mean a lot more to Joe if his granddad could take that exciting step to defend and separate Sebastian from Ben. Although many fans have been able to conclude that Sebastian and Joe are going out with all of these pieces of evidence, Sebastian himself hasn't revealed anything about it. So he's either single or in a private relationship. However, the fans think Sebastian and Joe don't have to declare their relationship as the hints are everywhere. Heartstopper 2 added some interesting new cast and the 28-year-old Jack Barton is one of them. Jack, who portrays David, Nick's brother, has one of the roles the show's fans don't like, but then that hasn't stopped viewers and fans from having a crush on Jack, as his pretty good face overrides his villain attitude and heartstopper. Although David, who Jack plays, always bothers and insults Nick for his relationship in the show, David never had anyone romantically attached to him, even though he brags about being loved by girls. However, just as David's relationship in Heartstopper is unknown, Jack also keeps his romantic relations very private, as everything he lets out on social media involves his career only. So Jack might be single or not, but if Jack is dating anyone, he's doing a good job keeping it to himself. Share your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.